In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install a printer that does not detect on Windows 10. Now I tried everything to get this printer to detect. I went to the manufacturer's website, it showed there was software, and then when I went to the software page there was no driver. So that did not work. I tried to do an auto detect, that didn't work. Search for it on the computer and that didn't work. And there were some people that said that if you get a printer that's closely related to it, it will work, and that didn't work either. So there's only one thing that can be done here, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So just follow me carefully. It worked for me, and it should work for you. Now, what's going to happen here is Windows 10 will actually recognize it. But instead of putting it under printers, as you see here, they put it under unspecified. And that is not going to work. If it's unspecified, it's not doing the handshake. When you actually print a page, it's not going to send it to the printer and it's not going to print out, even though it is recognizing the printer. So, for example, as you see here, this particular print, this is unspecified. So, so I'm going to show you how to fix this. Now, the first thing you need to do is connect the printer with the USB cable to the computer and you have to remove this manually. So you have to right click on it and go to remove device. Printer is connected but it was manually removed from the section that says unspecified. Okay, now the next thing you need to do is to go right here right by start and type in control panel. So as you can see it's coming up already in the middle of typing so just go here to control panel now the next thing you need to do is go to view devices and printers now as you can see my printer was successfully installed it's an HP LaserJet 1018 this particular printer is over 13 years old so it's an older printer and Windows 10 could not detect it there's no driver for it on HP's website so it looked like I was not going to be able to connect it However, this is what I did to make it work. So, of course, this is not going to be here. You're going to see an unspecified section. Now, it's not here anymore because I was able to install it. I just showed it to you before, like right here. So what you do is you would right-click on it, and you would go to Remove Device. Now, I'm not going to do that because I have it installed, but you would do it here. You would right-click on it and go to Remove Device. Now the next thing you need to do is to go to add a printer. Now go to the printer that I want isn't listed. Now go to add a local printer or a network printer with manual settings. Go to next. Now in the menu drop down, go to the last option. Now go to next. Okay, now this is very important. Now, as you can see, it's in the list right there. Now, how did I get it there? Now, this is what I did. On the manufacturer, I went to HP. On the manufacturer, there were a few manufacturers over here. There was Generic, Microsoft, and a few other ones. I didn't see HP in there. So I went to Generic, and then I went to Windows Update. So you would go to Windows Update. Now, it says Windows is updating the list of printers. This might take a few minutes. Now, the first time I did this, it was showing this screen for like almost 10 minutes. And then I noticed it was frozen. So I tried to exit it out, and it wouldn't let me exit it out. So I just went to Start, and I went to Restart. And I just forcefully rebooted the computer. And then and did everything over again, went to Windows Update. I noticed that a lot of printers were detected, but not the one I was looking for. It found other printers close to it. I did see some LaserJet printers, but not the one I wanted. So I just redid the process. As you can see, it's frozen again. This thing gets frozen up. So what you have to do is you just have to restart. But even if it freezes, it's still finding printers and it puts it into the column. 
it's going to include it in the search. So it's not like you have to do it over again and start from the beginning. Some printers will be added. Okay, so this is frozen again. As you can see, it's not closing up, so I'm going to have to forcefully restart. Okay, so I restarted the computer, and here I am back to where I was before. Just repeat the options, go to Control Panel, and get back to this area right here where I was before. And after doing the Windows update for generic, Microsoft, or whatever comes up in this box under the manufacturer, eventually HP is going to come up. You're going to see a whole list of manufacturers coming up as you do this Windows update. Now that you have HP, you also get Hewlett Packard, but you need HP for this particular printer for the LaserJet 1018. That's HP. It's not on the Hewlett Packard, which has other printers under that manufacturer name. So you're going to do the same thing. Click on HP and then look for printers. If you don't see it, again, go to Windows Update, just like I did last time. Now it's going to search and search and search. Wait a few minutes, maybe even 10 minutes. Let it run. If it doesn't stop searching, again, you're going to have to either close it. If it doesn't close, you have to reboot the computer. Go to restart, just like I did before. And keep on repeating the process until it finds the printer that you need. I remember, as I was doing the Windows update, every time through this process, there were more and more results coming up. So eventually, the printer that I was looking for came up. So I just clicked it like that. I went to next. I didn't get this screen because... It wasn't installed, but you just keep on going to next. I'm going to close this out, and you get the idea. And then what happens is it installs it, and then you're going to see the printer that you're looking for, which is HP LaserJet 1018, and that's what you need to do. Now, it might ask you to print a, a test page. Now, if it doesn't print and it doesn't detect, try to unplug the USB cable going from the printer to the computer, and plug it in again then you should get a notification from Windows that it detected that you plugged in the printer and once it's detected then try to print and see what happens if that doesn't work while the printer is plugged in to the computer reboot the computer and then try to print and it should work now this is not only going to work for this particular printer it should work for other printers so, I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please show your support for this channel by subscribing. Feel free to leave comments. Please like up this video, and thank you for tuning in.